Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to another player review to the channel guys. Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for support. EA decided to drop Shapeshifters team number four today. And we got a player review, a special one today. And it's going to be 98 rated. Foot here of Shapeshifters, Abidi Pele. He looks absolutely insane. We bought him on the Xbox for 3.1 million coins. Looking at a card, it's 5'9". High, medium, left footed, double five star combination. This one has the Bundesliga links. The other um, foot hero card had the League Un links. So 98 pace, 93 shooting, 96 passing, 99 dribbling, 75 physicality. He has no shooting traits in game, unfortunately, but the card does look really, really solid. Um, maxed out pace, maxed out dribbling. So, what's the chem style we're going to give this card? Well, the chem style, in my personal opinion, is that we're going to give him the dead eye. Why the dead eye? Well, it maxes out all the shooting stats. It's pretty much all you need to max out on the card. Because the dribbling, like I said before, is maxed out. The pace is maxed out. The physicality is really good for somebody that's going to be playing as a striker. So, you just want to max out the finishing, attack positioning, shot power, and long shots. And that's what the dead eye chemistry style does. So, he looks insane, like I said before. In game, we're gonna be playing with this team right here. We're gonna be running a 4-4-2, y'all boys. Uh, right next to moments R9. I'm really surprised that Abidi Pele is two million on the PlayStation market. I know it's July, but for a double five-star card, guys, I don't know why he. That's kind of cheap in my opinion. That's kind of cheap, but we'll have to see in game what's up. We're gonna play some weekend league games, and hopefully, Abidi Pele. Is a really, really good card and not a fraud. All right, here we go with our first game with Abidi Pele. And we're going against decent team. Decent Serie A team right there. So good try right there. So far, dribbling feeling pretty good. Nice scoop turn right there. We could Kalini couldn't finish because Yashin with a great save right there. There we go with Pele. Nice little ball roll. Good com oh my goodness. What am I seeing? It's a good pass from Royce right there. Shot. It's a good goal. Good finish. All right. So redeeming himself from the poor finish from last shot. And. Is K gonna leave the game already? We're only and he left the game, so we're going straight into the next game. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Ooh, okay, okay, that was nice. He, the heel to heel animation was a little weird, but good stuff so far. Here we go with Pele on the solo breakaway. That's nice. Oh, couldn't finish that, but the dribbling, man, it feeling really nice. I ain't got a lot of y'all, boys. Reverse Elastico, fake shot. Oh, there we go with the finish. There we go with the finish. All right, a little lucky with the goalkeeping animation, but we do take that. Oh, Pele is through, y'all, boys, with the one-on-one. -on -one. Crossbody shot. That's a clean, clean finish right there. I'm liking the link in between him and R9. I'm liking it. Oh, that was nice. Ooh. Okay, that was nice. That reverse elastical animation was nice, y'all boys. So another good run from the card. Oh, what a finish. Oh, I thought he made that. I thought he made that. How you gonna miss that Pele? And we got a Rage Quit in the second game, y'all boys. So we do take that. Overall, a decent game for Pele. Um, he had two clear chances that he missed so far in today's video, but we're going straight into the third game. Here we go with the third game. Another good team. Guys, we're going against straight good teams today. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that would have been nice if we scored that. So yeah, the dribbling on this card, man. Look at that left stick, y'all boys. It is feeling really, really well-rounded. Nice 
My scoop turn, what a finish. What a turn and a finish there. Oh, straight cooked Kilini right there. Y'all boys with the borrow scoop animation. I do like that a lot and a great finish as well. Oh my goodness, what a save from Schmeichel. Nice tapping right there from Pele. Good find from R9. We're playing a really sweaty kid right now, but good stuff from the card to find the positioning to score the goal. It's a great run. Unfortunately, couldn't finish there. Oh my goodness, come on. Nice, 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 nice. Nice finish right there. Good ball control as well. Good stuff. Let's see, a scoop turn right there. He should be through. He should be absolutely through. Damn, what a finish from Pele right there. That was nice. I'm not gonna lie, that play was nice. Ain't no way no CB was catching up to the card. Absolutely through. All right, guys, that was the third game of the review with Abidi Pele. We had three games with him, three wins. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my verdict on the card right now. So guys, 98 rated Abidi Pele coming around 2.1 on the Xbox, 1.7 on the PlayStation. Um, we had three games with him, 10 goals, zero assists. We already lost 1 million coins on him, but you guys already know I don't care. It is July. But in fact, we do move. Now, comparing this card to the 94 rated, you get a plus two pace, a plus three shooting, a plus... Wait, am I tripping? Why is there a cam? Well, comparing him to the 89, we'll do that because I, I, I must be tripping. Plus 7 pace, plus 10 shooting, plus 9 passing, plus 8 dribbling, plus 9 physicality. So, this left winger card, guys, huge noticeable difference from the 89 that we got in the first month of the game. Obviously, this card is being double 5 star, so it puts him top tier level. Um, and for the most part, guys, it kind of does make sense. I mean, excuse me, it doesn't make sense why this card is I'm not saying 2 million is cheap or 1.7 is cheap, but it's like he's double five. He offers all types of Bundesliga links. I mean, I'm not really seeing why he's that cheap, but talking about the car, the pros is the pace. He's super rapid on and off the ball. So whenever he does a scoop turn, he gets that clean animation like Mbappe, Ribery, Cruyff, where when they do the scoop turn animation, they are absolutely gone and no center back is catching up to them. Um, his reverse elastical animations are clean. His ball row scoop turn animations are clean. So another pro from the card is the dribbling. One of the best dribblers I've used in FIFA 22. Super, super responsive. Um, Only con on the card. And this is honestly a minor con. It could be come from the gameplay because we all know FIFA is a trash game. It's the shooting. There were a couple instances where I felt like Abidi Pelé should have put it in the back of the net. Maybe we had like a Ribery or like a Royce or like an R9 or CR7. They would have they would have they would have scored, but for some reason he didn't put it in the back of the net. But there were all the, also other instances where he had some great finishes. So it's um, a tricky situation with the card for the most part. I'm not saying his shooting is bad, but it's a little suspect. That's all I'm going to say. It, it, it's still a good card. It's still a good card. That's the only thing on the card that I would say it's a question mark on it. Other than that, everything else was phenomenal. When, like I said, the tag positioning, the pace, the dribbling, the physicality. And for the most part, like I said, he had a great return. 10 goals in three games is decent. So that's what I will say for the card. Um, He's obviously usable for me. He's usable for any other players. I mean, excuse me, any other team. So he does get the thumbs up for me. Uh, rating wise, I'm gonna give him a 9.4 out of 10, 9.5. I do think he's really, really good. I do think he's really, really good. Like I said, the only thing that's a little bit of an asterisk is the just the shooting. But it's not bad. It's just a little suspect at times. And it's weird because he's double five. And we also gave him a good chemistry stop. But other than that. The card's really good. I highly do recommend them. He offers great links, and he's really fun to use. He was really fun. He's really one of the best dribblers in the game. I do I did like him a lot. So let me know in the comment section down below. What did you guys think about this card? If you guys enjoyed him, if you guys think he's good or bad, or do you guys think, you know, I want to hear your opinion on this card if you guys like them. Uh, next review, I don't know what it's going to be. If it's going to be a Kyle Walker, the Lit, 
I'll see what's up, but I'll definitely drop a review very, very soon right after this video. I appreciate our boys for support. Have a beautiful day or night, and I'm out. Bye-bye.